Welcome back to Manimal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I'll show you see what's going on on our lovely island of Fawn Hollow today, where apparently it's a fishing tourney today, which um, I'm not really sure if I can be bothered to participate in, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, uh, normally the weekends nowadays, of course, we reserve the Happy Home Paradise decoration, which I haven't actually done for a very long time. I think I, I took the last two weekends off from doing it. But to be fair, there was a string period where, a string period, uh, a, a chain period where I uh, did about five in a row or something because, of course, I was busy celebrating them. Um, holidays and that sort of thing so i wouldn't have time uh but um pff, i mean the fishing tiny takes like three minutes okay we'll, we'll, we'll do one thing we'll check um the abd to get our thing uh, uh, thing magic what's it called <laughs> i can't remember um a nook mile street going then we'll check what crazy red selling and then i think we'll round uh not round, round that's not round off the episode there that'll be like five minutes um we will head on over to Happy Home Paradise and we'll do a customization because we're actually getting quite close to the end of a, of a campaign, quote quote, of Happy Home Paradise. Uh, I, I believe we're on about, um, let's think, five off until until we actually finally get um, the, the final thing which we have to do, which is the clothing store. I can't remember what the last thing we did is. Is the last thing we did the hospital? It might have been the hospital, which I think was at 25. So yeah, I believe it's about five more things that we got to do. And once we've done that, we'll be like, woo! Um... Well, actually, it wouldn't really change much because we'll still do be doing the Happy and Paradise customizations on the weekend where we can. But, of course, it's sort of just like a, you know, an, a nice thing to get to the end of it and basically unlock the entire process for us rather than, you know, having uh, such a restricted thing happen. Of course, um, we're still going to stick with the, the usual pattern of basically acting fast and loose, I suppose, when it comes to customizations, because honestly, I kind of prefer doing it that way. <laughs> as much as I like doing these like long two hours sort of decoration things, the the, the 45 minute ones certainly, actually, I think it, it's sort of like a good practice of being, you know, like being able to just sort of like not work on your own instincts, but sort of like trust your gut and that sort of thing. Um, like, of course, I could like, polish things up and make things ever so slightly better, but I'm doing this more for my own like, sake and I want to go and get a lot of thematics done rather than necessarily get the exact best one every single time. Um, of course, your stars may vary because I'm, 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 I'm kind of doing this with the idea that in the future I'm going to end up combining people together. And um, I don't want to invest too much time in stuff when they're just going to be roommates in the end eventually. I wonder if you can copy and like copy paste over um, room designs or that sort of thing for different um, customizations. Like if we put Olivia and Diana together, could we just like copy paste Diana's room and put it on like on top of Olivia's room? Um, I'm sure we would change it slightly, but it's a lot easier to start with a base than it is, I think, than to start afresh. As you know, logic would tell you that I don't even know my reactions were just so slow, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, how you're doing? And, um, I'm, I'm doing alright. Um, you know, and I, I can't really say any particularly exciting thing has happened within the past, like, well, half a day. <laughs> sort of just vibing out. We're just, you know, I'm just excited, I suppose, to do a bit of Happy and Paradise again. Hopefully we'll get some nice customization options and thematics that we can choose from. And if we don't, then, you know, so be it. Can't be particularly too picky about these sort of things. I wonder what happens when you try and do something, like if you try and go on a captain's tour while uh, the fishing tourney thing's going on, does it automatically end it? We should see, we should try and test that maybe. <laughs> it might be a fun experiment, Let, let's, like, hold on, we, we don't even need to catch up fish, let's, like, because if you don't know, we, we, we've already got the golden trophy, I believe, for fishing tourney. And it's quite a grind, but to be fair, um, it was a grind you were meant to do over multiple fishing tournies rather than all at once. Um, quite a change of pace, I suppose, from the, the previous ones. It's more of a cu cumulative thing, which, in, you know, I probably said my piece about it before. While I don't think that's particularly great, because, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not sure how many people are out there actually playing on crossing every single day and checking and participating in all the fishing tournies. I think a lot of people will probably just sort of tune in for one and then not play the game for about three months and then, you know, come back to it and be like, oh, yeah, you know, Animal Crossing, I want to see how my villagers are doing, that sort of thing. Your mileage may vary, of course, so don't take me for at face value of what I said. You ready to take a tour? So what happens if we just... D does the, the fishing tourney just sort of like end? <laughs> d d does the timer keep going while we're on the Cabin Island? You know, this is a good experimentation. I didn't actually think... I thought Cabin would be like, hey, it seems like you're a little bit preoccupied. Pre that's not his voice. I can't remember what his voice is. <laughs> yeah, you seem a little preoccupied at the moment. Why don't you come back to me after you're fi finished doing whatever you're doing? <laughs> Something like that. But apparently, um, we'll just go. Um, I mean, I'm just here to get the recipe. It seems like the timer, yeah, the timer does not seem to exist. Just like the limit in um, Mean Girls. 
which is a movie I haven't seen, but you know, it's a quote I know. <laughs> A lot of random lines I just know about something. You know what lines I was thinking of randomly today is things on the list of a pet shop, which is, I like to add, not a TV series I've ever seen. I've only seen like some sort of the songs from it because, you know, I suppose it sort of coincided around with My Little Pony. Friendship is magic sort of way even that sort of timing. So that's why I've seen some of the songs. Um, and that's just, Some of the lines just randomly started coming back to me from like the songs. Um, Obviously, I don't expect you to know Little Miss Pet Shop, so I don't think you'll get any of these references. But <laughs> the one that's actually stuck in my head right now is just... All right, petlets, eyes on the kitty. <laughs> I can't. I don't even remember the context exactly behind it. It's something like this cat is a, a fashion designer or something, and then she's talking about the fashion world. And there's one part where they go around all. Oh yeah, no, that's it. It's like a, a world tour of like um all the different fashion from around the world or something. And there's like a part where they look at all the p pavilions and there's just a load of animals going like, Russian. <laughs> What's that voice? Russian pavilion. Wait, what's a Russian? Yet, yeah, da. <laughs> Who touched Sasha? Russian pavilion. Brazilian pavilion. Chinese pavilion. What's the next one? I can't remember. <laughs> it's gone from my memory. Br the Italian pavilion. The German pavilion. The French pavilion. <laughs> the Spanish pavilion. I don't know why I remember this. Anyway, that's, that's been stuck in my head, and I think um, I'm going to annoy my friends with it by just con continuously going, All right, petlets, eyes on the kitty, <laughs> with absolutely no context. What have you got to say about that, CJ? Oh, it just cancels it. Okay, well, I'm not doing it again. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Be the one that got away. You're the one that got away. In another fish. I don't know. In another fish? Doesn't really make sense, does it? Um, yeah, we're going to head over, head on over to Harm's Island. We'll put our stuff away with Tortima and then we will uh, see what Crazy Red's got to sell and then we'll head on over to uh, Paradise... What's it called? Par Paradise Planning? No, that's uh, the company. Paradise Resort? That sounds about right, I, I don't really know. Anyway, Little Miss Pet Shop's got a lot of catchy songs out there like... Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, it's come to me. Those teeth, those eyes... Who's that underneath? Da 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 da. They've been wolfified. Da 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 da. And also the guilty tango. Oh, the voices screaming out inside my head. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one, don't I? Um, I don't remember if we actually got this one or not, but this is a legitimate one, so I suppose we'll purchase it. I believe we have this already. I'm thinking about it. Oh, what else is there? Why can't she hear us speaking, Russell? Why can't she hear us speak? Something, something humanarian. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I actually remember quite a, quite a bit more than I thought I did. But there's one about having a crush. I, I honestly can't remember that one off the top of my head. I got a new crush, and it's giving me a head rush. Something like that. Um, what else? What other Littlest Pet Shop song are there? Oh, 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 we know. The best one. Um, how's it go? <laughs> no, you ain't seen nothing yet. Till you fly pet jets. Okay, that's not the best one, but it's a pretty good one. Can you take me to Old Bombay? I'll go into a moose jaw. Is that on the way? <laughs> as, as you can tell, like a lot of random like clips of lines and audio extracts or whatever just get very much stuck in my head all the time. I was talking about this yesterday, I suppose, and my friends being like, how the Genshin Impact sort of voice lines get stuck in my head. Even the fact I haven't even played it in the English version. Hey, it's been a while, eh? Go say hi to Lottie first, or whatever you said. Um, who we got? We got Barbara. I don't even know your name. What's your name? Gonzo. Who are you? Gonzo, Barbara. You're like Rio. Uh, not Ali. Oh, Axel. Gabby, Gallo. No, Gail, that's it. Okay, I was going to be like Gabby. I was like, that's not quite right. You are like always here. I swear we see the same villages over and over time. I know that's cognitive bias. Oh, cognitive confirmation. Confirmation bias, that's a word. So I'll not take too much credence to that sort of thing. Uh, but no, I'm glad the Genshin Impact lines get very much like my head. I mean, it happens with the Hearthstone lines as well. Um, for whatever reason, the, the sort of like play lines from those sort of games get very much trapped in my head. And I continuously think about them. Oh, it wasn't one of the facilities where I meant to change a colour. Oh well, I don't remember which one though. So we're just going to not... You know, despite the fact I don't actually listen to the English voiceover, whatever, in Genshin, for some reason I just know a lot of lines. You know, like, everybody stand back! 
Go, Barbara, go. Eyes on me. What's this? I like to dance gracefully in a home built like a stage. That actually sounds quite nice. I want to camp all fancy like, and then call it. They call it glamping. That is true. Glamorous camping. Fitness every day, anytime, anytime I want. I want a place where I feel the prairie winds. All I can really think about is making really awesome sweets. Do you recognise us? Yeah, I finally found you. You're that super designer everyone's talking about, right? Had to see what all the fuss is about, sir. Will you make me a vacation home, please? Um, sure. I guess. I mean, Axel seemed to recognise us. Maybe? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I've never seen them actually react when they see us before, so, you know? I want you to bring everything you got to this project. Bringing everything you got to this project. Oh, we've done so many of these. Muscular sweet store. <laughs> like, so many in, like sweet shops and that sort of thing. Um, alright, muscular sweet store. We're just going to give you a random location, because I don't think this really matters. I'll be perfectly honest where you are. Um, we're not going to give you a particularly distinctive one. We're going to give you quite a nondescript one. Uh, maybe this one? Mm. We can give you the snow area, I suppose. We, we are very much running out of areas to get to give out to people. Um... I guess I'll give you this one. This one's quite nondescript. So you, you want a so you want a gym plus a sweet store. It seems like a lot of the time um, they had like um ideas, but then they started running out of ideas, and what they did was just like end up combining two random <laughs> ideas together. I mean, we had like the, the spa bar or whatever that um Joey had. I know. What other little pet shop songs do I know? That's what today's gonna be. You know, buckle up, I suppose, if you've already lasted this long. Um. Oh, the sweet shop. That's actually a really, really catchy one. Like, I, I must say, if you are like, um, if you are like a, oh, what you call it, like a, a songwriter or composer, I suppose, for like these kids' TV songs, you must just like go hard on the song sometimes because you just like want to have some crazy ideas or whatever. <laughs> like, I know Letters Pet Shop has like that, like sort of retro vaporwave, -esque, not vaporwave, is just like a very sort of retro esque song. One called Humanarian. Why can't she hear us speaking, Russell? Why can't she hear us speak? Um, I don't know what entrance way we use. None of these seem quite right, so let's just sort of see. Birthday table. So this is meant to be a gym suite, sweets area. Um, I don't know why these are all new. We've we've had access to a lot of these before, haven't we? No, we haven't. Weird. White honeycomb tile worn. Patchwork tile. I don't know if I want that particularly. Um, blackboard. Blue stripe. Pro what? What? What's? Wait, hold on. What? What's the actual theming? My muscular sweets. Oh, it's a store. Okay. Um, so I think this ward is fine. We could have a window panel at the back. Do we want it? Or do we want something else? We we could do the chalkboard one. What the heck? What's wrong? Um, I suppose it depends on what sort of thematic we want. I think a blue stripe one's actually kind of fine. We'll go with sort of like a retro, a, a vintage esque sort of um sweet store you got going on. So what do you have for counter space? And you need and we need it to be a gym. That's such a weird combination. <laughs> um. It's a store, but you're giving us so much kitchen equipment rather than counter stuff. And you got you gave us a load of very sort of like kitsy looking things. I'm not really sure what to make of this. This is a very sort of odd set of recommended um items. Um, I guess we're using ironwood as our sort of main thematic in this. Um, should we do what we'll a walnut variation? I think what we'll do is we'll make a, a basic kitchen and then we'll have a sort of display area with a lot of food and stuff and then we'll somehow have to figure out how to get f f fitness stuff in. Oh wait, you don't even have gym equipment recommended. Oh! You don't have gym equipment recommended? Oh, that's so weird. Okay, never mind then. Um, it turns out this is just a, a sweet store. <laughs> this is just, you just want a sweet store, which, you know, I can, certainly I can abide by. So we'll give you a small kitchen in the back, I think, to work with. We, we've done this like a million times before, you know. You, you know the drill, how it goes. We'll give you a kitchen in the back. We're going to give you some pillars, which is other ones. Just to sort of like fle flesh out the area. I don't know which one will look best. Maybe the brick one. If there's a dark one, otherwise we'll go with a dark sort of like walnut wood colour. You know, we've been here, done that, uh, yada yada. 
you know, yawn. <laughs> um, one, two, three. I do think we want a, just a tiny bit more space, like this way. We, we want a small gap for you to go around. And actually get into their place. I suppose we'll have like the counter here, and then we'll have just like dining areas all the way along the side there. So let's get some more ironwood stuff in here. Um, I suppose you probably want a bedroom because we, we want to make this sort of like cutesy, kitsy, sort of like a very um, what's a word? You know the word where well, it's just like um, a family business sort of thing. I think that's the sort of vibe we're going for. Because I don't, I don't think we quite done that before with the, the previous like fooding, food esque restaurants we got. Um, what I was more surprised about is the fact that Axel didn't actually say anything. He was just like, "Whoa, surprise!" And then you know didn't say anything like, "Oh, it's dear," you know. You remember me? I used to be here. <laughs> but maybe it's because we were already on duty at that point, so he he doesn't say anything until we're um, not until we're off duty, but unless we're off duty. Oh, this can go anywhere around. I didn't realise that. Um, we'll do this. We'll put this here. Actually, we'll do this this side. We'll give you a nice little um, ironwood dresser, I think, next year. Um, not old. That's not what I wanted. What are the little pet shop songs do I know? Oh, yeah. The, the, well, very fittingly, the, the sweet shop one. At the sweet shop, the sweet, sweet shop. Ah, ooh. You gotta love a candy shop, the sweet shop. How much space do you want over here? I feel like we need more ironwood things. Maybe an ironwood cupboard? Not a lot of space around here, but I suppose that's just kind of how it is when you live as a small business owner. You don't have a lot of space to... You, you've got to sacrifice a lot, I suppose, for your business. So I suppose we can make this... Whoa, 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 whoa. So I suppose we can sacrifice a bit of this space over here, just to give you a little bit more. Your bedroom is going to be a bit small. Um, you live quite minimalistly, but that's okay, because a lot of it goes into the kitchen. It's probably what you would desire, I assume. Um, the refrigerator, unfortunately, is going to be quite an annoying colour. I guess we'll go with blue, unless there's a light blue. Mm. Maybe maybe white's okay, because it feels a bit retro in that sort of aspect. Um, cute, yeah, we want, we want cute vibes, probably. Yeah, okay, and that, that doesn't look too out of place. I think it's okay. A ranch cupboard? Weird. Um, luckily it has a dark brown variation, so I guess we can use this to feel a little, little bit more like, um... Kitsy, I'm not sure. I feel like something should go along here, but I'm not exactly sure what... I think what we, what we should probably do is actually, um... Do something like... This? Put a fridge here. Then we'll put a bit of counter space, I suppose, in the middle. I'm not sure why you have a birthday table. It's very strange. I don't even know if it's customizable, to be honest. Guess we can make a, a blue one and put it over here. This is, I don't know. <laughs> um, an ironwood table. This is going to be your, like your sort of working area. Scooby up, ba doo ba up, ba ba doo ba up, ba ba doo. Just look around and you will see a world so yummy you can believe. Every type of sweet there could possibly be. Just look around and you will see. We got flavors coming out the door. Here's a cherry filled apple cream s'more. <laughs> Sorry. If, 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 if you couldn't tell what I'm singing, this is the, the Let's Pet Shop song I'm like vaguely remembering. J da 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 da. Cherry filled cinnamon rolls to something 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 never grows old the sweet shop the sweet sweet shop ah, ooh. you got to love a candy shop hmm. we've got an uneven amount of space either side here hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I love that particularly maybe we should just be more decoration at the front we could do it like this a huge table Ooh, yeah. What if we made it just like a, a huge centerpiece table? I feel like, honestly, we've got to give you less space in your bedroom. I hate to do it, but... We need more space of a kitchen. It's the sacrifices you make. Um, We should probably actually have it such where you can actually get into the room. So perhaps we put this over here? No. 
Perhaps we put this over here. Yes, okay, then we'll put the bed over here and we'll put... No, this doesn't make sense. The dresser here. <laughs> Something like this. It's quite difficult to get anywhere, I suppose, in this, this sort of area, but, you know, you got you got a little bit of walking space. Maybe we can put, like, a plant in the corner there, if we remember. If we don't, then so be it. Um, mostly over here, we want to put um, stuff to work on. Some kitchen scales. Certainly we need a blue one. There's a table up front where the pets can each. sha do ba do ba do Well, that's a really big gumball machine. sha do sha do ba do I don't know why I remember all of this. I can't imagine you would use a microwave all that often. This green luckily looks a little bit bluish. So I don't think it's going to look too out of place up there. Um, certainly you would need a stand mixer. I can't imagine running a bakery store and not having a stand mixer. You would probably lose your mind. <laughs> of how much mixing you would have to do. Uh, cooking tools. Oh, we can actually use a natural set, like the pop art set. I know there's a few variations of those, and it shouldn't look too out of place. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe it will. I don't know. Um, let's put the dinnerware, I suppose, by the side here. We will put sugar. Bum, 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 bum. And then over here, we'll put like boxes. You know, ready to get packaged and sent out. Um, do we have a light blue box? We have a, a bluish box. We got this, and we can get some plates of food so that you're getting ready to, you know, ship off to people. Coconut cookies. Yeah, something like that looks fine. Um, let's give you a bit of counter space, I think, over here. As I said, we're going to have a counter going this way round, just to sort of give a, a little bit of a different vibe. Um, I'm not sure what sort of counter space we have counter tables we have i forget um something looks quite retro it would be nice but mm, i'm not sure we have access to one of those maybe this reception counter has got that sort of baby blue customization it could be okay oh it does medical questionnaire name list i think to do list probably makes a bit more sense but still We'll do something like this. Actually, we'll, we'll replace with a, this with a retro ice cream machine if we can find it. Um, that'll probably be much better. It's better. Much better. You remember that Amanda show? Anyone? No? Right. Fair enough. I'll, I'll, I'll just, like, leave then. That's okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Actually, I think I want a garbage pail. We'll pop this over in the corner. Um... We certainly want to customise this to be a dark brown. I think this can go probably in the corner of the bedroom. It feels a bit better. Much better. No, we've got to find the retro ice cream machine. Just trying to think of things that fit in the store. I guess a mop wood. We can have some sort of a back corner-esque. It is a very much a, a one-person sort of show. Uh, the retro ice cream display. Thank you very much. I guess the sun would probably fit best. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. I'm up here for cleaning up stuff. One, two, three. So I guess we'll just leave three spaces for you to do whatever. Um, You certainly need a till. What other things at the back should we have here? I don't know. I'm perfectly honest. What what other things do you have on sale here? Um, sorry, not on sale. Recommended for us to put down. Oh, you want tables down. I don't understand why we have a... Maybe there's no seating room inside. This is also just for display. Yeah, okay. We'll have like a display table here. Um, we'll put some display cases here. If there are any. An AC unit. Oh, that's an outdoor one. Um, I guess we'll put a cocoa tree in here. Sorry, cacao tree. Um, I think we want another box. You know what I did just think about is the fact that probably we should have flipped this. <laughs> this stuff should probably be um, on this side. Because I don't know why access to the kitchen would be behind you. But it would not be accessible by the actual <laughs> staff themselves. So I'll put this over here. I guess we'll put this sort of cacao tree here to, you know... Try to deter 
people from going around it into the staff area or they shouldn't go but then you know Axel can't automatically walk there so we're gonna sort of leave it like this instead put, put, put the tree here I suppose um I'll give you um I guess that's display cases we need a lot of display cases it turns out a lot of the things over here just don't really lend well to much much else rather than just being sort of like a display area right So give you one, two space so you can actually walk through. I feel like we need something thin here, but I don't know what thin items we have. We've got like mini fences. Maybe some of these are quite thin and I honestly can't recall. Just anything, you know, kind of thin. What One half a square wide that we can put down. Just so we can um, fill in the space a little bit. Like one of these, a screen. It's a bit weird, I suppose. <laughs> um, m maybe the low screen will be a bit better. We can pretend it's like an advertising panel or something. Um, it'd be nice if a cafe menu thing was this small as well, but it's unfortunately not, I don't believe. Um, do we have like a a blue stripe? Uh, not custom design. Very simple sort of retro blue stripe pattern. Yeah, yeah, like this. I think I'll be fine. I accidentally changed it to something else entirely, which is not exactly what I wanted, but I'm not sure when you would use this, to be honest, but we'll just have that sort of screen there just to make things feel a bit different. We got very white and blue thematics. Perhaps we're sort of double dipping in far too many different colours here, but I think we'll sort of just roll with it because that's what we got. Uh, I do want the display cases wherever they are. Or perhaps it'd be better just to put it on a table. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of more partial to the table idea, I think. I don't think this would be the sort of place where you would have them, like a display case. At least not like the ones that the game provides, you know? Perhaps this feels a little bit more like rustique. A little bit more fitting in that sort of regard and we could put some nice sort of food on here because uh, we have a lot of food items to put down like a, a birthday cake a chocolate log some of the ones that look really nice can go sort of back down over here we really need to give you a cash register i forgot i'm surprised one isn't recommended to be honest um but so be it i think a cash register has its own category if i recall i might recall incorrectly so don't like quote me on it certainly seems like it doesn't. So, something in my mind told me it did, but um, we'll have a modern or a retro touchscreen. Why don't we have a retro one? And we have antique. I guess a modern is the closest we'll get to sort of retro looking, but it's not that retro. I do want to give you a stool though as well. Because I think it'll be a bit much standing up the entire time. And you seemingly don't have any chairs recommended in your item list. This is, I, I will say, this is not my favourite like list of recommended items. Um, you have a very cute design going on. Perhaps we should lean into the cuteness. Give you a sort of sky blue cute chair. Yeah, um, I think that's okay. We'll, we'll put some stuff over here. I don't know what we'll put. Maybe we'll put some cute chairs. Maybe maybe this is like the only seating area we've got. Just this very sort of small birthday table. Put some of these down. Um, like this, hopefully it's not totally in the way. Seems like it's not. Uh, I know we have some rugs we can put down. Mixed fruits pie. Oh, we, we, I guess we'll display that outside then. Um, rug, rug, rug. Yes, this rug. Blue striped rug. Oh, it's quite big. Um, I suppose we'll put this down over here. I guess. <laughs> and then we'll put um blue design kitchen mat. It's a kitchen mat, but we're going to use that as a welcome mat. Um, sue me. And then we'll... Ah, we should put like a radio somewhere down. Because I do like having tunes about the place. On oh, hourglass, that's such a cute thing to put down. 
Um, okay, let's bend hourglass down instead of that box, I think. <sighs> These color schemes don't quite work, unfortunately. Natural might be okay, I think. Instead of instead of a microwave up here, we're gonna put the put the sugar, I think, up here. I'll put this here because it kind of matches in that sort of aspect. I do want to put something on this. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put for you over here. Maybe just you know your favorite treat, the mixed fruits pie. We'll put that over here that you you know treat yourself to. No, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> I'll be honest. You just keep food there. I think not. Um, no, let's just find some sort of nice things to put down, like a mirror. You don't have a mirror currently. And certainly I think you might appreciate one. Um. Bit Tom's Diner for you there. Or you might think it's, um, Fallout Boy. Oh, wait, which song is it? Not Immortals. Centuries? That sounds right. Remember me for centuries. You have an old school TV? To so, I suppose, keep with a theming sci-fi, music, video, cartoon. Oh, it's a bit big. Just about fits in there. Perhaps you watch it while you go to sleep. And then you have a cute little music player, I suppose. Interesting thematics we've got going on here, though. That's not a happy birthday, is it? Because it, it seems like the song that you are provided with is a happy birthday song. Oh, it's KK birthday. Never mind. What do I know? Not very much, apparently. Um, let us decorate the walls now. Because I think we're kind of done with the floor stuff. Pretty quickly as well. Um, okay, what do you have recommended as wall items? We'll follow your guidance. No, not, not a lot. Uh, ventilation fan. Of course, we'll put a couple of these down. I don't really know how ventilation fans and kitchens work so we'll just do it like that um pot racks i do want the pop art one probably no i don't <laughs> it turns out St we still haven't made a pop kitchen yet maybe that's something we should do at some point um nothing else recommended so we're gonna do the usual grab a spice rack magnetic knife rack seems pretty good So you can actually prepare some food items and that sort of thing. Um, I would like to put these higher up, but you can't actually reach these, as I would have thought, if these are this high up. And then we'll put the wall shelf over here, which I always pretend is a spice rack. I don't actually know what this is meant to be. I suppose it's meant to be a big ambiguous, but I always pretend it's a spice rack. Um, I think that seems good. Yeah, yeah, that seems good. Any other wall mounted items that seem particularly fitting. I don't think so. Maybe the welcome sign would be quite nice. What's the, the blue one? Oh, he's glowing the dark things. Ah, oh, sea creatures. We don't really have a sea theme going on. Cute though. It's a very sort of kid-friendly um, store, isn't it? Guess I'll have one of these clocks. Bunny day clock. Just to add into the cute thematic. Which is going on. Um, a party garland. Yeah, boating stripes. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe we could put the glowing dark stickers around here as well. Just trying to figure out how it centers itself. <laughs> Which answer is it doesn't quite center. So I'm going to have to do it like this. Ooh. That's an odd number. Oh well, um, we'll just sort of leave it like that. Um, actually, you know what, let's just do it like this. <laughs> it seems so empty now, like this. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll have three then. Even if this one goes across slightly, that's that's fine. That's kind of the best we have to work with. Um, let's get some of these glowing the dark stickers to give a sort of cutesy, cheery vibe to this area. We'll put one of this ward as well. It's a nice sort of place to have a birthday celebration. Maybe that's why people come here? I don't know. Um, I want the cute welcome sign. Maybe we should put that outside. I think we're done. 
with this, so now we're going to do the ceiling decor. I don't know what's recommended. Let's see. Hanging shelves, again. It's a classic one, which I've, I've used absolutely everywhere, I think. To great success. I'm not sure where to put this. I think I'll put this over here. Just to sort of fill up the emptiness over there. I think this is backwards as well. There we go. Um, air conditioner. The Nordic pendant light. Yep, this is certainly one we're going for. So just sort of try and figure out where it should go. Here. I'll have it symmetrically on this side over here. I'll have it symmetrically over there on that side. Sorry about that, a little bit of a pause as we continue on with our decorations. Uh, we can't really put this one directly here, so I guess this one will just sort of go in the room, like a, a normal sort of place. And I guess we can centre these instead of having to pop them around like this. Okay, you know what, fair enough. Centre these on top of where they are, and where it makes most sense, rather than necessarily having to align them together like this. It's a bit difficult, is that in the middle? I, see, I think that's in the middle. Cute. Um, maybe I do want to move this one back a bit, though. Yeah, maybe we could put one in the middle as well. Yeah, I think I've, I think that feels a bit more nicer. Um, none of this other stuff we particularly want? I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, uh, let's, let's do our polishing. Uh, we're, we're not going to do much polishing. I think we're just going to do the usual. Um, the, the, the usual, you, you know what I mean. You get a, a, a bit of a brr brr on the things which are cold. Just a little bit. Does it even have any? Did I do it? Oh yeah, there we go. A little bit of a brr brr. And then you get a little bit of a fuzzy bubs on all the food to make it look nice. Deliciously tasty. Just like this one. It's a bit of an awkward um, angle to work with. It is positively, positively glimmering. Wait, hold on a minute. Are these tables not in the right place? Huh. I guess I'll move this one over one. No, we can't. Because you, you need to have a one space by the sink, but this actually looks kind of better aesthetically, so maybe we will leave it just like that. Um, get some more fuzzly bubs on this sort of food, right over here. We can't go that way, didn't think about that. But I want to get some fuzzly bubs on these cookies. I think I put it on the table, which is not what I wanted. Hold on. Oh no, no, no. I no, it's on my cookies. It's on my cookies. Um, I think we're good in this aspect. So let's take a, a little walk outside. We'll try and figure out exactly what we're doing decoration-wise out here for you, Axel. Um, we want things to be cute. Where do... Oh, maybe we should have put you in winter. In the winter area. <laughs> I mean, we can just change it to winter, I suppose. Uh, we want a very cute-looking home. This one I always think is the cutest-looking one, but your mileage may vary with that sort of regard. Stucco exterior. Mm, I think I, I think I want to give you a white door. Yeah, and then on the door decoration at the front, I'll give you a nice little sort of heart door plate. Adorable. Not particularly muscular, I'll be honest, but it's a sweet store. A blue plank ramp. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Uh, please move to the side. Um, now where should you go? Unfortunately, this one is very telegraphed. It's like leading up to the thing like this, so perhaps that's okay. Perhaps we get, um, we're very much a kiddie sort of vibe, so perhaps we should use a park fence. I don't, is that a light blue one? Pink and blue? We'll do it like this. So a, a sort of way to sort of lead up to the front, even though it's not annoyingly not quite centered, but there's not actually a lot we can do about that. Uh, I'm not sure what sort of path we want to give you. A stone path, maybe, okay? I 
hate the fact we can't center it. <laughs> All these doors are unfortunately like lopsided. But we're just gonna have to make do. And then I think we can have some fun stuff outside, some sort of like party. You know what, let's um get some tables, I think. Okay, one of these will be like a seating area, perhaps. So we'll have a nice sort of bistro table outside. Just, get, just a, a few of these, so you can sit down. Oh, we should have probably customised it to be a bit more of a fitting colour scheme, huh? So natural wood, bright blue umbrella. Something like this. We'll get some chairs out and about. I think around these places. A nice little ranch chair. It's interesting what we've done. A dark, a dark brown. A dark brown and a blue colour scheme. With sort of hints of white. I don't think we've done this particular colour scheme before, so it's actually quite nice and this was a little bit refreshing, if anything, to do something different. I think you can just about squeeze through there. I'm not really sure how many chairs they have normally around this sort of thing. Perhaps we should put this one over here instead. And just make this like a two-seater one. Or maybe we can maybe we can put two in. Like here, but instead we put the chairs in this way round. I want to offset them slightly so it feels a bit more like organic rather than necessarily so sort of rigidly stuck in place, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be too feasible with the arrangement. I think that's okay. I mean we could put like a flower bed out here or something. I know we have a flower bed somewhere, I just can't remember for the life of me where it could be. I'm going to guess in the garden section. Even if we can get a nice sort of like white or bluish coloration, pink beige, maybe white will be okay. Pop this sort of like against the wall. And it's very sort of like uh, cute and lovely, maybe. Not quite enough room to fit you in there. Ah, what a pain. But perhaps we can put um, some toys in and around the place to sort of bring this place to sort of like a, a childish delight. No, I think over here we want to display the, the, the food, right? Yeah, that'd probably be a bit better. We can put a play, playground gym in there. Hmm. These colour schemes aren't quite what I'm looking for, but I think blue is probably the best that we can get. Um, we're going to put a sand pit around here. This is what I always do. This sort of thing. Um, if you have a customised path that looks like tarmac, I think that would also be quite fitting. But we're going to put sand here just to make sure, you know, if kids go on here, they're not going to, like, horribly injure themselves. Hopefully. But, you know, kids always find a way. I say as a former kid. Oh, it almost looks like a heart, I suppose, when we do it like this. Cute. Unintentional, but cute. Um, let's put some other stuff out here. I think... Or should we just do the display tables? Let's just do the display tables first before we think too hard about what else we want out here. And if we still got room, then I think we will. Ah, this is an interesting way to do it. We can do it. What on earth is this camera angle? We can do things like this and display lots of different food items. Let's try doing it like this, huh? It's certainly not something I've done before. Okay, so let's get some apple jelly. Um, we'll get some orange jelly over here, and then I think it over in this corner. We'll put the pear jelly. Get some fruit cupcakes. I think over here is fine. We should try and use only new things, which we haven't put down. I think we only put down those two things, right? So we, we should have quite a lot of options of what stuff we can put down. Carrot cake, sugar crepe on the ground. As you'd expect. Because um, this is meant to be a sort of display area so people can be like, ooh, what sort of food do I want? And you look over and see which ones pike your fancy. So another crap, probably not on here. We'll put it over here. Just to get some colour variation around this area. I think we could put a straw cherry jelly uh, over here. 
No, I don't like a color, lack of color variation, but now we got like a line of pink. Okay, so it's probably better over here than anywhere else. Or we can switch these two around. Might be a, bit, a little bit better. Oh, we red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, do we have enough food items of each coloration? Let's try it, let's try it. Because that's certainly something I've not done before, at least. Having like a, a rainbow assortment. Things. This, this one's a bit more red. So I guess we'll put this here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow. Yeah, let's alternate these sides these are on as well so it doesn't look like the jelly's on one side the entire time. Gives it a little bit more breathing room and chance to look a bit more random. So we need blue and purple things. Hmm. None of these in particular, so this is where we go to the actual food area and see what we got. Blue and purple. Bearing in mind we want sweet treats, of course. I think this can work for green. It's not a perfect fit, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Mmm, ice frozen treats could be a nice blue. And a colourful juice, I suppose. I don't see why there wouldn't be some kind of a juice. I don't know if we even have anything purple. I'll be I'll be honest. So I think we'll go with white instead. It seems like this area very much specialises in jelly. Coconut pudding. What is that but a jelly? Seeing as we have one on almost every single plate. And veggie cupcakes. Cute. Um, Do we want to change... I kind of like it being a bright blue... I think I want to change the season to, to actually winter. Because the full coloration is not quite doing it for me right now. It looks okay. I'm not too sold on that. Um, the flower bed, I think, is a, a little bit lackluster. Perhaps we should put some flowers up here to really sort of spice this place up. Uh, I guess we'll get put these blue ones. We'll alternate it with some lily of the valleys. A sense of purity. Or something. Didn't mean to put that down there, but I wanted you up here. Looks kind of nice. I'm still not sold by this. I think it should be this should just be hedges instead. Which unfortunately don't grow in um Winter. I didn't think about this. Okay, so maybe instead of being winter, let's just change it to spring, which I believe is when the hydrangeas bloom. I oh, know we can make them bloom. We can force them to bloom, right? We can just sort of change them variation wise. Plus, this looks a lot better in spring, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I think we're done. Let's go inside. We'll take some pictures for you, Axel. Uh, actually, let's uh, change your outfit first because I remembered to do this beforehand. Honestly, that was quite a quick customization. Was that about 45 minutes or something? Um, I can't tell because this is the second part of the recording, unfortunately. But <laughs> let us give you some nice little clothing that fits. Um, I know we have like a chef's, there we go, chef stuff. Give you a nice little sort of cook cap. Something which looks cute. So you, you honestly look like a, a TV chef, like a ki kid's TV program, which I think is honestly quite fitting. Is it done yet? It's ready. What do you think, Axel? Hmm, doesn't seem like all the stuff I ordered is here. Can you look into that, Monk? Oh, did I forget to put something down? I probably, you know what? I think I forgot to put down the food item you wanted, right? Very true. I forgot to put down the mixed fruits pie. But, so, it does actually stop you. I, I have seen, though, um, or I've heard that if you don't want to be forced to use certain items, you can, um, in fact, just like put them down and then come back and edit it and you are no longer forced to put down certain furniture items. Just a little tidbit for you there. There we go. Whoa, seriously? My power fortress is complete? I mean, it's not very muscular, but it's very cute. <laughs> I'll see. Very much like a, a kid's TV kids TV chef. Sort of candy shop. Ugh. Have a nice stretch. Good customization. Sit up straight. Check your posture.
I will say, I find it strange that the the prompt was my muscular sweet store, but there's basically no gym equipment that has been recommended. Oh, cute. It, it's, but it's essentially, it was all just um, normal sweet store. Sweet kitchen sort of things. Oh, he looks pleased as punch. Loving that corridor shot, of course, as per usual. There you go, Axel. Let's take some lovely pictures, I suppose, of here, if you don't mind. Add it a bit to my portfolio. I was going to say, I'm stoked you're here to help me stream in reality. Oh, this guy's going so cool. Yeah, I'll take photos, don't you worry. He didn't even say anything about the fact we spent a long time with it, so I guess we must have done this in rapid fire succession. I didn't realise. Um, I wonder what sort of angle we want. Maybe I want you in the kitchen. Oh, you're kind of clipping there. Um, just trying to figure out what angle I want you from. No, I think I want... I think I want you over here. Because this is one of the, the more cuter sides of it. Perhaps it fits a little bit better. Or perhaps I put you over here. On the till. Put you over here. So we can actually see your face. I'm a believer. No, we'll put you on the till. We do have to accentuate the fact that it's certainly a shop that we're in. I think we'll have a, a personal. A bit of a personal camera, though. A bit of a handheld camera. Uh, I want to go upwards. If at all possible. Hmm. Why have you done this, Axel? I forget we just sort of randomly start walking about for no reason. And it's very difficult to get them to stay. Why would you just get up and walk? Why Why would you program this in, Nintendo? I do want you doing something, though. I feel like just sitting there is a bit boring. Alright, never mind. You know, you do you, I suppose. I think I'll take a picture from over here. Handheld camera. Try and go as upwards as we can before we look at you. And we'll do that. Cute. Before he walks off. Um, peace out, Axel. I'm going. Um, I'm just kind of disappointed that he didn't recognise us being like, Hey, it's me, Axel, your buddy from Fawn Hollow. I wonder if that's what you're saying, because I've never seen them, like, have the exclamation mark, like, emotion appear above their head. Or something like that, but there we go, Axel's whatever this is called. Welcome back. 16,500, but we got a pay raise. A 10% increase. Would have had it out a moment ago. Probably have to sit into the heavy ocean again. We should take a break while he's out too. Nothing good comes from overextending yourself. Why not walk around the island? That'd be a lovely way to relax. And we can see all the villagers hanging out and doing, doing what they're doing. Haven't spoken to a lot of them for a long while, but you know, that that do be how it goes sometimes. We'll see who's out and about. Who so who replaced Axel? What was your name again? Like Gonzo, I think. Rio. Oh Snake! Snake, snake, snake! I forgot we made a restaurant. We should let's have a look in at our hospital as well. Is this a hospital? This is our restaurant. That that's the one we were meant to change the coloration for. I don't remember where the hospital is. The school can stay this colour as DJ. I haven't actually seen people come out the front yet, which is wild. Let's see what a hospital looks like. See if everything's up to snuff. Because we haven't actually looked in here before. Hello, Piss. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Whoops. Hey there. Guess who got himself a hospital job? That's right. I've been showing folks here a thing or two about how, how all this business is done. Like how someone such as yourself is reading bad. you got to get him to the doctor for an exam. Our doctors are the top two. Best healthcare for miles and miles. Anywho, I'm a receptionist here, so if you ever need an exam, I'm really good to talk to Crushy. Oh, I'm also in charge of fundraising to build our patient ward, so let me know if you want to help with that. We can we can help with this? Hey there, kiddo. How can I help you today? Can I donate? What? You certainly can. How much are you thinking? Don't be shy now. Oh, almost. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll donate um, 50,000 and we'll come back and... I didn't realise you could actually interact with these things. I think there's something in my ears. Did you say 50,000 pokey? Yeah, that's my donation. 
Thanks. We really appreciate it. And at this rate, we'll have our patient ward expanded in no time. Oh, so we can actually have expansions to the hospital. That's pretty cool. Hello, sucker. Nutrients? That's what food is for. You'll have the wildest stuff in magazines, bloop. This book says that symptoms I got are all in my head. And I'm a high hypochondriac. That's silly. <laughs> Hypochondriac, do you think? I ain't never been hypnotized by nobody. Boo. I had to wake up early three days in a row. That was a mistake, let me tell ya. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. I'm trying to get better through sheer willpower. No luck so far. So can we uh, go into the patient ward and say hi to, um... Who do we make for the doctor? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, Freya! We made you the doctor. There's other people here. Sorry, I just like, hit a bowl on my table. Please calm yourself. I performed this procedure over 50 times on my nails. You'll be fine. I don't think you should do it on your nails. I can assure you, with me as your doctor, you'll receive the very finest care, unlike my lifelong medical rival. What's up, Joey? You don't feel nervous? Hey, Dr. Freya, I feel about as gross as a duck can feel. <laughs> Aww. I performed a fire exam and I can confidently say, you don't have toe wasps, Joey. Wh what? Duck, I... I've just, I've lost all the will to eat. Yesterday, I ate 43 family-sized bags of chips. Today, nothing. Help me. <laughs> Is there people actually staying in the ward? Doesn't appear so. Why did we make this ward so sad? What enough? <laughs> we put a family photo in. We put, like, calla lilies. Isn't that a sign of, like, do take care, dear? Ah, oh. Like of, um, loss and grief. <laughs> Am I making it up? Um, let's see if we can see the doctor. I, I, I... Oh, it must be if you get bee stung. She can cure you and that sort of thing. That's super cool. I had no idea that was a thing. The restaurant we should go to as well to see what, what sort of food we can get. We haven't done that for a bit. But um, I think we've already visited the restaurant. Deidre has gotten slowly closer and closer to us. Um, but we'll head off over to the beach. There's this area here which no one ever seems to be exploring, which is a bit of a shame. It's kind of cool. Um, let's see what activities people are doing on the beach. Um, just going to have a sort of glance. We've got Spike here. Sort of doing yoga here with Caroline. <sighs> Puddles and... Jay? That's not your name. I've got you. Robin, Robin, I remembered. Oh, we should talk to um, Caroline. So she'll give us stuff. She'll give us a rug, a flooring, of course. What's this flooring? Lightwood pattern flooring. Thank you very much. I don't know if we've spoken to Spike either. Uh, how are things? Got new thing of calling up new thing. I think everyone else we've spoken to, so let's have a bit of a chat with Wardell. What's up? You're welcome to. Sit with me. And sit with you, I will. Dot, dot, dot. Certainly, it's quiet, don't you think? Peaceful, one might say. As I have a sip of water, I suppose. No, I won't. What are your thoughts on the sounds of life? Do you enjoy lively sounds as much as I do? The rustling of cities, of forests, and of folks who live in both? Yeah, I'd say I do. Ah, all the sounds of life upon the face of the world. I hope that you find them as nice as I do. I do like the sounds of, you know, anything really. I believe that I'm going to head back now. Will you meet me here again sometime, my friend? Of course! Let us say yes to him, sweetheart ward eyes. I wonder what that's about, eh? Sometimes it's great to be where you can hear excitement happening all around you. These soundscapes could really liven up a home. In decorating mode, I just had to press left. Oh, so I guess we got more soundscapes? Because we already have soundscapes, and the soundscapes are different from what we got right now. Which is possible, I don't quite recall. But we're going to round off this episode here, I think. And we're going to head off back to Fawn Hollow. And we'll, we'll take our leave. We're, we're getting pretty close, I suppose, to the campaign. Being finished of Happy in Paradise. And honestly, it's been a fun, fun time. So I was drinking some water and I spilled it. No, that was very awkward. Um, but anyway, we're going to round off this episode here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, description, shares are greatly appreciated. Join my Dear Darling Discord and follow me on Twitter down below. I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time. Bye-bye for now. Close guys. <laughs>